So I finished installing the ESC70 and I ran it uh, once with it, uh, with a 17 turn motor. I did overheat the motor because the gearing is not right on the Wraith and this is a heavy truck and 17 teeth with this is not a good idea. Uh, 17 turn I mean, it's not a good idea. So I did change the ESC to a 35 turn, now it seems to be way better. I kept the same gear gearing, so it is a 35 turn with 32 inch, 32 teeth pinion and a 80 teeth uh, spur gear. So here, uh, I did the mod here, um, or Fred did the mod and installed the battery tray in the front. It's a big long battery tray and it goes all the way up to the front where you can actually put your electronics. The ESC is actually sitting underneath all the wires. Receivers here, my big, which is the one I got many years ago, uh, uh, light controller. This is just a light controller. It does not have brakes, signal light, and things like that. It's just to turn on the LED. So it goes directly to the receiver, but it's big, but it, I managed to put everything in there and everything is, everything fits. Everything fits in there and I can close the lid and it's got a magnet in front and it's weight, <coughs> it's a ring magnet here and another one on top here. <coughs> so this works very good. Uh, when I install the fenders, fenders don't come with it, but I did buy the kit for the fenders. I had to use a torch or use my uh, torch to actually melt the plastic here off, off to the side to actually uh, make it so the battery tray actually fit. It turned out pretty good. I like I like the look of it. It actually makes it look like it was bent metal or banged up metal that I actually made for that. And I decided to put the fenders uh, orange to match this and it blue and orange and the back also has f uh, inner fenders. So it really finishes off the RC good. Uh, ESC get back to the ESC sorry I kind of went on a rant there um, ESC for the price Canadian you're looking at about 35 bucks uh, depending where you're picking it up uh, I did pick up mine at Paris Junction Hobby um, very good service I got it the next day um, I actually ordered that one first and then realized well five to six days delivery I might as well order another one and I went on Amazon and Amazon now has them which is nice because I was going to get it next day well, figures, I received the Amazon one, and then a few hours later, I actually received the one from Paris Junction, which was next day delivery also, which I did not know. So it was bonus for me. So I did get two of them. <clears throat> this is my spare one to put on another truck, except in case something breaks. This one was installed on there. Um, now, my thought on it, I like it. It, it worked very good, mind you, on my Samsung um, 10. I did have issues with the software. I did send them an email because it kept on telling me update the firmware, uh, update the ESC, update the ESC to a proper version. And every time I logged onto it, it asked me to update it. And it wasn't updating. It was, it was updating, but it didn't update. Problem is, uh, the <clears throat> once you install on Samsung, once you install the software for this guy, you manually have to go where the software is or in your preference where you download all the software and actually update the software on the Samsung. Uh, I found that out uh, because I sent them an email. They said, reboot your phone, update the software and um, on the phone, and it should be fine, the software for this, not the software of your phone. Uh, <clears throat> And one reason I knew that the ESC was okay is I actually have an iPad. So I installed the iPad version, the Apple version of the software for this, and there was no issue. The firmware was up to date. Everything was fine. So they seem to have kind of a little bit of an issue. But hey, for the price, this little ESC is a little gem. Um, I used to run 1080 in all my trucks, but uh, I think I'll be getting some of those uh, right now. It has no issues. Can't wait to go for the next crawl and uh, run it for a few hours and see how it actually turns out. But uh, so far, I'm pleased. And I love the file format of it, so small. Um, 
the button to, to actually turn it on and off is kind of cool. Uh, it's a push button. It lights up to know where you're in Bluetooth mode or in programming mode. So very cool. I like it. And yes, I know I have to clean the inside of this. But hey, it will clean itself. It just makes it for more realism. Uh, I do have a Velcro there that's to hold my wrestler or <coughs> my mini me that I usually put in there. And I am running uh, stock shocks on this. Uh, I am also, let me move something. Oh, and as a motor, I did put a 35 turn RC four wheel drive crawler motor. Um, the 30 type, 35 turn 540 can. So. That's what's in it right now and servo in front is a ms uh, 9555 tg titanium gear it's an older servo it's hard to get most site is all discontinued but it's a very good uh, little servo uh, up to 25 uh, kg i believe uh, when you run it at six volt and i did put the esc on six volt and i am running a 20 kg in the rear so here's the rear. I do have four wheel steering on this. Uh, axle are plastic. Got the aluminum cap in front. And aluminum cap in front also. Do have metal upgrade here for this. It's got a lot of metal upgrades, a little bit everywhere. Um, metal bumper, uh, metal crossbar here, metal bar here, some metal here, uh, metal shock loops. Uh, do, 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 do metal shock loops in the back also to hold the shocks uh, metal in the rear also links are all metal uh, metal casters in the front they're orange remember if I put some in the rear but I believe no the rear is just plastic for now so I do have to get some orange casters for this and uh, upgrade the rear since I got the upgrade for the front. I might as well look for orange shocks, maybe blue shocks since the inner well is orange. I don't know. I like the paint job that was done on that. Fred did a good job. Um, I did not mod the rear of the Wraith, neither did I mod the did not mod the rear of the other Wraith either, which my son has. Um, left this one the same. Fred painted this um, kind of an off-white color, so kind of, kind of makes it cool. Uh, you do see rashes, uh, rock rashes if you flip and things like that, but that's okay. Just makes it for realism. So, I like this. Well, that's the update uh, on the ESC 70 from ISDT. I like it. It turned out pretty good. And uh, we'll see you next time and go out there and break something. Well, first you got to charge up the battery and go out there and break something. Because if you're not breaking anything, you're not having any fun. Well, guys, cheers. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.